The time on an analog clock reads 12.30. What is the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand of the clock? So on a clock, this is going to be 12. We have 3 on the right, 6 below, and 9. So at 12.30, the minute hand, that's the long hand, is going to be at the 6. And the short hand, the hour hand, is not exactly at 12. Because if it was exactly at 12, it would be 12 o'clock. If it was 1 o'clock, the hour hand would be at 1. But if it's 12.30, the hour hand, which is the short hand, has to be between 12 and 1. Exactly right in the middle. I'm going to represent the hour hand in red. So that's 12.30. Our goal is to find the angle between those two hands. So how can we do so? Now first, it's helpful to know the measure of one hour. So let's focus on the three. What's the angle between the two and the three? Notice that it takes 12 hours for the hour hand to make a complete revolution. So 12 hours correlates to 360 degrees because that's the entire circle. So one hour is going to be 360 divided by 12. So every hour represents an angle of 30. So therefore, from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock, that's a time period of 5 hours. So if 1 hour represents 30 degrees, then 5 hours is 5 times 30, which is 150 degrees. So therefore, from 1 all the way to 6, that angle is 150 degrees. So now, we need to find it from this point to this point, this angle here. Now we know from 12 to 1, it represents 30 degrees. So the red line is right between 12 and 1 because we're at 1230. We're halfway between 12 and 1. So if we're halfway, we need to multiply 30 by half. So therefore, the angle on the inside is 15 degrees. So we got to add 150 and 15. Therefore, the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand is 165 which is less than 180. Because if the hour hand was at 12 and the minute hand was at 6, which is impossible, that would be a straight line. That would be 180, but it has to be less than 180. And this answer is reasonable. Here's another example. Convert the time 120 to degrees. That is, find the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand if the clock says 120. So first, let's draw a picture. Here's 12. This is going to be 3, 6, and 9. And then here's 1, 2, 4, and 5. So if it's 120, that means the hour hand is between 1 and 2. The minute hand has to be at 4. So I'm going to use blue to represent the minute hand, which is the long one, and red to represent the hour hand. Now, if the hour hand is one, it's between 1 and 2, where exactly is it? So focus on the minute hand, which is at 20. 20 divided by 60 is a third. So what this means is that the hour hand is one third away from the 1 o'clock hour, or the value of 1. And it's 2 thirds away from the second hour or from two. So that's why you want to take whatever your minute value is and divide it by 60. So you can get the fraction of how far it is from one of the hours. And to find the distance from the other one, it's going to be one minus the original fraction. So one minus one third will give you two thirds. So now with this information, we could find everything we need. So keep in mind, the angle between one hour is always 30 degrees. It's 360 divided by 12. So between 3 and 4 is 30 degrees, and between 2 and 3 is 30. 
Now, here is where it gets interesting. So, this is when you want to use this fraction. This angle is two-thirds of an hour. That's the missing 40 minutes. So the angle for one hour is always going to be 30. That's not going to change. So we got to find two-thirds of 30. 30 divided by 3 is 10 times 2 is 20. So therefore, this angle is 20. Now, all you need to do is add up these three angles. 20 plus 30 plus 30 is equal to 80. So that is the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand. And that's how you do it. So now it's your turn. Try this example. Let's say the time on an analog clock is 11.15. Go ahead and find the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand. So feel free to pause the video and work out this problem. Now let's always begin with a picture. So this is 12, 3, 6, and 9. The minute hand is at 3 because it represents 15. 3 is for 15, 6 is 30, 9 is 45, 12 is, well, 0. So every increment of 5 is for each number. So for example, let's put down the other numbers. So let's say if it was 11.05, the minute hand will be at 5. 11.10? It will be at 2. 15 is for 3. 20 is 4. 25 is for 5. 30 is for 6. 35 is for 7. And so forth. 55 is for 11. This is 50, 45, 40, and then back to 0. So just in case you were wondering, those are the numbers that uh, you need to know. So the 15 points to 3. Now, where is the hour hand? We know that the hour hand is between 11 and 12, but it's closer to 11. What we need is the fraction. So take 15, the value of the minutes, and divide it by 60. 15 over 60 reduces to 1 fourth. So therefore, the hour hand is 1 fourth its way from the 11th hour, which means that if we subtract 1 by a fourth, that's 4 over 4 minus 1 over 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, so 3 fourths is between the hour hand and 12. So it's 3 fourths, it's 1 fourth of the way going from 11 to 12. It has 3 fourths left to get to 11 and 12. So basically, it's 25% of the way between 11 and 12. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and calculate the angle. So every hour represents 30 degrees. Now the angle between the hour hand and 12 is going to be 3 fourths of 30. So what is 3 fourths of 30? 30 divided by 4 is 7.5. 7.5 times 3 is 22.5. So that's the missing angle. So if we add 30 three times, that's 90. So we got to add 90 plus 22.5. And so that's going to be 112.5. So that is the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand. It's 112.5. So here's the last example. Find the shortest angle for the time of 10.25. So find the shortest angle between the hour hand and the minute hand when the clock says 10.25. This is going to be 12, 3, 6, and 9. So 25 corresponds to 5. That's where the minute hand is going to be located. Now the hour hand is between 10 and 11. So it's very close to the middle, but it's slightly closer to 10. So there's the hour hand. Now let's find the fraction of 25 divided by 60. So 25 over 60. 25 is 5 times 5. 60 is 5 times 12. So it's 5 over 12. 
Therefore, between the hour hand and 10 is 5 twelfths of 30 degrees. And between the hour hand and 11, that's going to be 1 minus 5 over 12, which is 12 over 12 minus 5 over 12. So that's 7 over 12. So 7 twelfths of 30 degrees is the angle between the hour hand and the 11th hour. So now that we have that, we can find the angle. So we're looking for the angle of the shortest, we're looking for the shortest angle between the hour hand and the minute hand. This side is clearly the longer angle. That's going to be more than 180. So we need to find the angle of that side between the hour hand and the minute hand. That's less than 180. Now we know that one hour represents 30 degrees. So if we find the angle from the fifth hour to the tenth hour, that's five hours. Ten minus five is five. And five hours represent an angle of 150 degrees. So now we just got to find this angle here, which is 5 twelfths of 30. So what's 5 twelfths of 30? So 30 times 5 is 150. And 150 divided by 12 is 12.5 degrees. So we need to add 12.5 and 150, which will give us a final answer of 162.5 degrees. So that is the angle. Well, that is the shorter angle between uh, the, the hour hand and the minute hand when the clock says 1025. By the way, if you want to find the longer angle, that is this angle, it's simply 360 minus this answer. So 360 minus 162.5, that will give you the other angle of 197.5. And keep in mind, this is 12.5 on the inside. So all three of these angles have to add up to 360.